All right. Uh, hey, guys. Uh, I guess you can see me in the reflection. Adam Blue, BlueGamer.net. Uh, not entirely video game related, but I wanted to uh, do a little cool update on uh, time with my OnePlus One. Um, I did a video about it before. It's still an awesome phone, probably the best phone I have ever used. Um, the reason I want to do an update video is because I have Android 5.0 Lollipop on this now. Um, and it is amazing. So here's the uh, lock screen. Unlock it. Here we go. Um, this is a build I got off XDA Forms, a uh, member, uh, a couple working together that kind of get this. This is like completely beta. Um, nowhere near final, though. It's a daily driver for me. It works perfectly. Google Now over here. All the random stuff, you know, Google Now has. Um a couple things I want to talk about first. So when um, I I first started the turn on the phone after flashing the ROM, it, I have two step authentication with uh, with my Google account. What it? Okay, that's pretty cool. See how it does this little drop down of a call. Um, and you know what? I am going to take this. So hold on one second. All right. So uh, I just got a call, and as you can see, as a little drop down. Um, so if you're in an app or something, there's a drop down. You can just dismiss it or continue. And take the call. Uh, it's really nice, really nice feature. Um, anyway, so back to the two-step uh, authentication, two-factor, whatever they call it. So I put in my password, and then it says, "Do you want a text message? Call the phone, whatever." There's an, another option for automatically do it. So it basically sends a text message that the phone detects and automatically authenticates it, and then you're in. This is great for people that like to flash ROMs uh, a lot, uh, myself included. Um, or w these are daily builds that are coming out, so I'm flashing every couple days uh, when there's significant improvements on the ROM. Um, okay, so what it also does is it automatically installs all the apps and the way you had everything set up. So the way you see everything is how I've had my phone for a while, um, and it automatically knows to do that. Not using the one plus one hardware buttons and instead using the software buttons. Now that was done through a a zip that you have to flash that was provided, and I'll have the link below for that. Um, so okay, so it's it's downloading all the apps, right? Well, for some reason it doesn't do some, and I don't know why. For instance, Twitter. And what's cool about that is it shows this is where I had Twitter, so I can just press it, um, and it says it's not there, so I can remove it or I can install it. I left that there so I can show you guys. Um, which I think is really neat. This uh, this really allows you to easily restore uh, from anything. Anyway, it, it's really fast. Here's the uh, there's two drop downs here. Here's a standard notification drop down, and then it goes even further. Uh, you have flashlight, uh, Chromecast options here, uh, Bluetooth um, stuff like that. You get the options up here. Everything's animated, which looks nice. Um, and it, it is so fast. Here we go, 5.0 right there. Um, this is using Sound Mod 12, which is also a step up. Um, so this is this is fantastic. It is incredibly fast. Um, not, not that there's anything wrong with the OnePlus OS, but this is just so fast to use. There's so much you could do. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, that's really all I could say. I'll have the links below uh, for you guys to check this out, but I'm really excited with what uh, and, uh, Google has done with Android 5.0 and uh, the fact that it's so easy to get it on the OnePlus One, making this still the flagship Android device. Thanks for watching, guys.